After washing their dirty linen in public and a feud that ended up at the high court, delaying the burial of the late fitness trainer and video vixen Michelle Amana Muli, her parents appeared to have come to a trust and she was finally laid to rest on Saturday at the Warren Hill Cemetery in Arari. Moana died in a horrific accident that also claimed the lives of the socialite genius Jinimbi Kadungure, Malawian businessman Limumba Karim, and Mozambican model Alicia Adams on November the 8th. The quartet was heading to Jinimbi's mansion in Domboshawa, coming from Moana's 26th birthday party at Jinimbi's Dreams Club in Harare's Avenues area. While Moana's burial was primarily delayed because of the DNA test that had to be conducted to ascertain her remains, as he was bent beyond recognition in the crash, it was further delayed as her estranged parents, mother Yolanda Kwaoga and father Ishma Amuli, deferred on where, when and how she would be buried. Drama, confusion and controversy had become the hallmarks of Moana's burial, that needed a high court judge ruling by Judge Justice Pisirai Kwenda, who ruled in favor of the deceased father on Friday, with the burial taking place the following day. Before he delivered the ruling, granting Amuli the right to bury her daughter in accordance with his Muslim rights, Kwenda had deferred the judgment in the matter twice. Moana's mother, who was represented by lawyer Jerome Manondo, had made an agent chamber application to the High Court to nullify the burial order and stop her estranged husband, who was being represented by Marcus Shirawa, from re engaging on their prior agreement that Moana would be buried at Sororo Cemetery along the Harare Chitungiza Road. In her speech at the mosque, Moana's maternal uncle Austin Chimeda said, they had ironed out their differences. We just attended court to fulfill the process, but we had agreed to put all misunderstandings aside and give Moana a dignified send-off, he said. Chimeza said they had learnt a lot throughout the process. We have learned something in terms of the culture and everything that happens in the Muslim community. We are not skeptical about how everything would be done, but it was a fear of the unknown. Now we have been told how it works and shown that there is nothing to worry about, he said. The Amoli family's first person, Yusuf Benali, echoed the same sentiments as he made it clear that the family altercations were a closed chapter. We would also want to extend our gratitude to all families, including our in-laws, for joining hands with us in mourning our daughter up to this time, he said. We have nothing to say as far as the burial and everything is concerned, so we want to say whatever happened was according to God's wish. Moana's mother's neighbor, identified as my Zuse, said they had been relieved after close to three weeks of mourning of the late socialite who was survived by one child. Moana's funeral has made us strong, so we are thankful that God has revealed us of the burden and we can now sleep because he will be buried. The community was in pain because of this funeral and people could not sleep because we were mourning for weeks, she said. Meanwhile, family, <coughs> friends and relatives closely followed the funeral proceedings from Garenia to a group of hospitals to her mother's home in Highfield before participation in funeral rites at a mosque in the same high-density suburb. The body was later taken to Warren Hill Cemetery where it was buried in a Muslim section.